Hi, this is James Lynn. It's James, a wine guy, here to share this wine with you today. This is called Hawk and Horse Red Hills, Lake County. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon 2007 vintage, 14.1% alcohol content. Back panel for your review. And uh, low production, here we have 430 cases. In 2008, you have in the lower 1,000s. Um, very low production. And um, this is, to me, when I think of Lake County, think of up and coming. Um, love this region. I think it's just producing phenomenal wines. And um, this is a really bench mark for what you're going to see from um, Lake County. Great Cabernet Sauvignon. Other varietals uh, being produced in that region as well. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, it is stellar. It's amazing. And it's in line with, say, when you look at Napa, it's just north. They share the same county line. And uh, I always say, if you know of a great wine growing region, just think about what is happening east, west, north, or south of there. You're going to think of wine differently in terms of, well, why not? What's there? Is there something there? And often uh, times there is, um, this is definitely within the Cabernet Sauvignon zone in North America, and it's uh, just a really stellar producer. They only produce two wines, this and a wine called Latigo, which is a dessert wine, fabulous. Done a previous video on that. Now, for me, um, definitely pay a visit to the website. You see how pristine and beautiful this site is. They are biodynamic and organic, and I think this is something that is just really wonderful. It's, um, I, I think in the future, I'm, I know this is up and coming, this region, and I also think that uh, in the future at some point, uh, I'm not planning it myself, is that there's going to be a wine competition in California that's going to blind taste uh, Napa Valley, uh, Alexander Valley, uh, Lake County, um, Paso Robles, and um, just see how the wines are tasting and how they stand up to each other. I think that'll be an interesting way of talking about Cabernet Sauvignon from California. Back to this wine. For me, this is a... It's a, it's a really lovely expression of Cabernet Sauvignon. It's the way that I like it to be. I, I think I hear a lot of um, descriptors on bell pepper. And uh, while that can be a characteristic, I don't think it's the chief characteristic. And for me, it's not something that I seek out or even enjoy. Uh, but for this wine, I think it's really well balanced. I did a pre-tasting earlier. So I'll take a taste and give you some feedback on this wine. Balance, sophisticated, gorgeous notes on this, blackberry, a little bit of black cherry, a hint of black plum, so the dark black red fruits are in here. Uh, a little bit of thyme, that, that sense of really beautiful, gorgeous, um, green, fresh thyme from the garden, getting a little hint of violet and a hint of rose petal. And I think it's really a nice, gorgeous characteristic of, of the wine. And nuance on the finish is what I would term a chili ancho. Very delicate, but just gives that little bit of an uptake that gives a gorgeous quality to this wine. So it spends about 18 months in French oak, 50% new, 50% second here. So this is a really gorgeous wine. This is a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesandwineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.